Hello and welcome to another video, and supply caches suck. I mean, you never seem to get the very rare reward. Uh, sometimes on the cache you don't even want to open it because all of the reward options are bad and you don't like them. And they're hard to come by because not only do you have to be on the winning team, which is sometimes determined by matchmaker and not skill, you only have a 1 in 12 chance once you are on that winning team in order to get a, just a single cache. I think the supply caches could be the premier microtransaction for the game. They could be the thing that players are constantly buying up new keys and spending MC on, but as they are now, I don't see them being able to do that. I want to go over a few changes on how I would improve the problems I just listed, and hopefully you guys can see what these changes are that I'm proposing, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on both my ideas, as well if you have any ideas, put them in the comments below. But let's get into it and talk about that first issue, which is you never seem to get the rare reward. I have opened hundreds of caches, and I've recorded their statistics, and I put them into my spreadsheets, and I never opened a single very rare reward. And from my numbers, they, they look like they should be a 1% chance to get it. But I can't verify that because I never opened one. So for my numbers, they're sitting at a 0% chance to get a very rare reward. And it's so frustrating when you've opened hundreds of them and you open another and you get the blue reward. You get a like a, an SRM6 and you're going, well, I know that was going to happen sort of thing. There's other games that have systems to fight against that. And example of one is Hearthstone and the Pity Timer. So if you get a pack of Hearthstone cards and open it, and you do not get a Legendary, which is their highest level of card, you get a little bit extra bonus percentage in order to open a Legendary in your next pack. And that slowly increases over subsequent packs where you don't get a Legendary until the point where you hit that being 40 times. In which case, after that 40th pack, you are guaranteed to open a Legendary. So that way they can say, no matter what, you'll get a Legendary every 40, and most likely it'll be less. And that's great for Hearthstone, because that way a person who buys 80 packs, they know for sure they're getting two Legendaries. They have this consistency in their pack opening. They have that value that they know... It's going to happen eventually, I just got to keep opening packs, I just got to keep going, I'll get it one soon, sort of thing. Where, with us right now, with supply caches, I don't want to open them, because I've been let down hundreds of times in a row. There's no excitement that the next one could be the thing, because I believe that none of them will ever open me a very rare reward. Moving on to the next issue which is sometimes you don't even want to open the pack you look into it and you say you know there's no mechs there's no mech bays there's nothing in here there's a few decals there's some like random blue equipment like an SRM launcher or a, like whatever I don't even want to open this let's just sell it for C bills that's a failure of the system because the supply cache is there not because they wanted to give you a little bit extra C bills. They could have just changed rewards. They didn't design the supply cache to do that. They designed it to sell keys, and that is to sell MC. It's meant to be a microtransaction thing, but if you don't want to open your cache, the whole concept behind it has failed because you don't want to buy the key and you don't want to buy the MC for it. I personally would get rid of this entire thing where you can see the preview of what's in the pack. What it should be, and what I'd like it to be, is that you don't have a preview, you just click on the pack, it unlocks, and you just see what it is immediately. There's no spinning uh, sort of roulette thing that they have currently. And how the random chance would be assigned is that it would first go, okay, is this going to be a basic, intermediate, rare, or very rare reward? It would have percentage chances that would be affected by the pity timer, slowly pushing it towards the more rare results. 
And then once it chooses the rarity, it would look inside that rarity to a secondary drop table. They would go, hey, in this drop table within that rarity, it's completely even. We just pick one of them at random and give it to the player. So if they got, say, a very rare reward, they look into that, say there's five mechs in there that they could win, it would just pick one of the five mechs. It wouldn't give one particular reward in there a higher value. It would just be like, you got a rare, get a random rare, or get a whatever, a common, uncommon levels. And then the last issue is the fact that they're so hard to get. I've played for entire weekends, and I haven't got a single catch. Because not only do you have to be on the winning team, which sometimes is a 50-50 split because Matchmaker will put some really strong people all together on one side. It just seems like that sometimes a Matchmaker decides stuff. So let's just say, for discussion's sake, you got a 50% chance to win. You're, you're perfectly average 50% chance. Well, then after your 50% chance, you've only got 1 out of 12 if you're on the winning side. So that means that out of all of your matches, you only have a 1 in 24 chance in order to get a, the, the cash. Which is so annoying because, like I said, I played entire weekends and haven't gotten a single cash. But then I've also played one night of streaming or something like that and gotten 5 caches. And it's like, ugh so inconsistent you can't have these things be oh i want to save up my caches and then a month later you've got three more and then my other account or something like that i'm not even caring about them and then i have a bunch because they just keep coming in if we even that out for consistency i feel it would be a lot better I'm not exactly sure on how much we can like how many caches we should give out but an idea i had is to, for say, the winning team, take away the 35,000 C bills that you get for just winning. Just take that away, but replace it so that every single player on the winning team gets a cash. So you take away 35,000 of C bills from the just the reward, but then every single player gets a cash which is worth 50k. So realistically, we're buffing Siebel rewards a little bit. This would be sort of like a perfect situation. Take away a little bit of the match reward, give them a cash to make up for it. But having it as a cash gives that option. Do you sell it for 50,000 Siebels, or do you open it and roll the dice and see what it's going to be? We need to vastly increase the amount of caches that people have in order to get people to buy keys and use that up to buy their MC because without having MC, oh wait, without having caches, you're never going to sell keys, you're never going to sell MC. So we need to give people caches so that they can use the system. But I don't know, These, those are the three things I see that are wrong with the supply cache system. Uh, if you have any comments on those, if you agree or disagree, I want to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, and good hunting.